Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here with a little bit of um, an odd random topic for a video, but it's something that was on my mind because I just visited the MAC Cosmetics store to pick up a couple of products and I wanted to just share my thoughts with you guys about how I think that this might be the beginning of the end of MAC Cosmetics and I'm a little sad about it. So I just wanna to talk to you guys for a few minutes. If you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I went to my MAC store today on my lunch break. I needed to pick up a Costa Riche eye coal, and I actually bought two. One is out of the box, one's in the box right here. One of my favorite eye pencils of all time. It's a really rich chocolatey brown that's not too dark, it's not too light, it's matte, it stays in the waterline really nicely, and I've been wearing it for years. <clears throat> but I wanna talk about my customer experience visiting a Mac store. And this was a standalone store. It was not one of the, you know, um, Mac counters inside like Macy's or Nordstrom or anything like that. This was a standalone Mac store and it's probably been about two years since I visited a Mac store. So I walked in and there was only one salesperson up front and she was matching uh, another customer for foundation. So when I walked in and I saw that she was trying to match another customer for a foundation, she greeted me and I could tell that she was busy. So I said, I know exactly what I need, I'm good. So I made my way over to where the eyeliners are. I grabbed my two Costa Riche eye pencils and I waited at the cash wrap because I knew that I didn't need anything else and I didn't really have a whole lot of time to look around or anything like that. So I waited for her and the shade of the foundation that the customer needed, the sales rep was digging through boxes, then she ended up kind of taking a break and ringing me out. So I was okay with all of that, but being in the Mac store, it it used to feel really special to go into a Mac store. I know for me, I used to kind of go out of my way to go to a Mac standalone store instead of a Mac counter because the customer experience was so different. They used to always carry, you know, um, an extended option of products. They would, some launches would only be in Mac stores, not Mac counters as well. And the ambiance in Mac standalone stores used to just be really cool. Like how you can go into Sephora and spend 20 minutes kind of browsing around. Mac stores used to offer that. And when I was in there today, not only was I running low on time, but nothing caught my eye. I didn't feel like I wanted to even browse around and see what was new. The one thing that I did notice is that they had their Whitney Houston display all the way in the back of the store and the display was collecting dust. The um, products themselves didn't look appealing at all. And I, you know, got my products and I left, but I also heard Rich Lux talking on TikTok about a MAC bronzer that was recently recalled and you know, kind of that combined with going into the Mac store today and having a very lackluster experience. It had nothing to do with the artist that helped me or anything like that. She was very friendly. She did seem like she was kind of running around a little crazy, but that's also the nature of a retail. And it seemed to, to what I gathered that she was working by herself. The past couple of years, Mac has not done anything or released anything that has made me say, ooh, this might revive MAC Cosmetics. Their products that they come out with are the same collections, same color, different name, different celebrity or public figure that they're collaborating with. A lot of the packaging is super lackluster. If, if it, um, you know, if it is a, a color or a pattern, it's usually something that's not gonna be timeless. And 
appealing to a large audience. I remember when I um, when I worked for Mac, you know, their packaging is what a lot of people really liked. They liked that it was that simple matte black and easy to clean, easy to, you know, kind of blend in with whatever your kind of vibe is. It's just a black compact. It was simple and it kept things affordable for the customer. You know, initially Mac was for makeup artists only. And once they opened themselves up to sell to customers as well, um, you know, I, I think that it not only that that packaging not only appealed to the makeup artist, but it also appealed to customers. So I always really liked it. And their recent collections have just been forgettable. I don't look twice at them. And when I went into the store today, it just kind of made me wonder, is MAC Cosmetics going to make it the next five years? There are some makeup brands that are coming out with some innovative products. And if they're not coming out with innovative products, they are certainly doing what they need to do in the marketing sense by working with influencers and making sure that people are talking about their products. And, you know, Mac doesn't work with influencers like that. And I, I just think that maybe Mac has had its day and this is the beginning of the end. The reason that it makes me a little sad is because as some of you guys probably know, I used to work for Mac and I actually worked for them twice. I was hired with them when I was, I was either 18 or 19, I can't remember exactly, but I worked with them for a couple of years and then ended up getting another job and then I came back to Mac and I worked at a Mac counter in Bloomingdale's and I did that for a little while and then I ended up realizing that I wanted to get into the corporate world so that I could make a you know bigger salary and not have to work evenings and weekends but it makes me sentimental you know I um one of my best friends I met my first day working at Mac and I, I think back to the times that we had back then and kind of the vibe of being a Mac employee, like being a Mac employee was really cool. It was something that people were very prideful about and not in a cocky way, but in a really good way because we had a lot of fun at work and Mac was a good brand to work for. They had a really good ethics. They, you know, did like the Viva Glam campaign. They did Back to Mac. They did um, Kids Helping Kids cards. I remember those, um, you know, during the holiday season. So it was a really good company to work for. Money wasn't always the greatest, but at the same time, they were generous with discounts. And being as young as I was, I wasn't necessarily worried about that at that point in time when I was hired with them. So I just don't know, like, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is the beginning of the end of a Mac? Do you think that it's just a bump in the road? Do you think that, um, you know, there is no problem and maybe I'm just seeing something that's not there? I did hear that they are doing a new round of layoffs. So I'm not sure if those have already happened or if they are happening in the very near future, but I don't think that Mac is doing well enough to be able to survive the next few years if things continue to go the, the way that they are going right now. Um, but I know this is a one-off and it's really random, but it did kind of make me a little sad being in the Mac store today and just having a very meh kind of feeling when, when I left. Um, so either way, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but if I do hear that they are going down, then I'm going to go stock up on all of my favorites, which isn't many things, but there are a few things. My Costa Rich, um, eye pencil, uninterrupted eyeshadow is my favorite single shadow of all time. Um, you know, it's just crazy. It is crazy to think that it could happen. And I think that there are some other beauty brands that could be on their way out too. Um, 
I think that every brand has a couple of standout products, but as far as sustaining a business, we're talking about a whole new ball game. So I think that's kind of what I'm seeing here with Mac. It's not that they don't have a handful of really good products that people love. It's everything else considered. Is it enough to sustain such a big brand? Um, and I guess that's on Estee Lauder to figure out. So either way, those are going to be my thoughts about Mac and its possible end, but I guess time will tell. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.